Some comic villains are predictable, while others seek to redefine what the true horror of being a supervillain can mean in comics. As such, many of these costume clad nemeses seek to push the boundaries, becoming ever more drastic in their actions as writers seek to shake things up and shock readers into buying more comics. To see how our favorite villain's next scheme will somehow outdo the last. How will our heroes get out of this one, we wonder, or ever recover? And in some cases, just how did these villains achieve such an impressive victory over? the heroes? Or what made them possibly decide to do something exceedingly noble and kind for a change? What are they really plotting? Welcome back nerd squad, today we're going to be breaking down the top 10 most shocking things supervillains have ever done and taking a look at some moments that surprise us, making us frantically flip the page as we wonder how could this have happened and what will be next. Now let's check out some of these shocking deeds and get counting. Number 10 Great World Leader Doctor Doom is known for being one of the most loved of all the most vile villains around. Despite the fact that he's evil and egotistical, fans still seem to enjoy rooting for him, even if they know he's up to no good. And he usually is, up to no good I mean. Usually Doom finds his often elaborate plots foiled by the Fantastic Four or the various other heroes he comes up against. But one time he actually succeeded in ruling the world using the powers of the Purple Man, whom he trapped in a psycho prism. But that wasn't even the most shocking part of this deed, the most shocking part was that he was actually a really good ruler and the world flourished while under his complete control. In fact, everything was going so well that Doom became bored of it and gave up his dream of ruling the world, leaving just as the heroes had managed to break free of his mind control over them and showed up to stop him. Only to find there was no one to stop because Doom didn't like the fact that there was no challenge, no one vehemently opposing him. Number 9. Created Life this was shocking because it kind of went against everything we've known this villain to be. Galactus is more of an unstoppable constant cosmic force than a traditional ill-intentioned supervillain. We always expect him therefore to continue doing what he does best, devouring worlds as we've known him to do pretty much forever. However, this all changed when the heroes attempted to destroy him once and for all in 2015 in the comics. They put him back in the incubator he'd emerged from during the Big Bang, but something unexpected happened. Instead of being destroyed, he was reborn as Galactus the Lifebringer and went on a mission to create life instead of destroying it. Number 8 Apocalypse Joining Krakoa I mean all of the mutant villains joining Krakoa were pretty memorable, but especially Apocalypse. When he decided to stand with the heroes he had opposed for years, in essence becoming one of them for the greater good of mutant kind, it was a moment in the comics where I audibly gasped. Seeing him and so many other villainous mutants like Mr. Sinister emerge from that Krakoan gate, ready to pledge to follow the nation's rules and stand beside mutants who for years they had previously tormented and opposed was just awe inspiring. I love it and yet I don't think any of us originally saw that coming. Villains choosing to stand beside heroes in order to forge a new mutant nation. Of course given Apocalypse's backstory and the relationship between Krakoa and Arako, I suppose we should be much less shocked now. Number 7 through a baby. This was mostly shocking in terms of how twisted it was. For this feat, Joker managed to defeat Gordon's new wife, Sarah, using a baby. Well, a baby and a gun. Joker had kidnapped the babies of Gotham and Sarah S. and Gordon, who was also a capable cop, had managed to track him and the babies down. She had her gun locked on the Joker but was unable to take him out because he was holding one of the infants. He then disarmed her by throwing the baby at her which caused her to drop her gun so she could catch that baby, leaving her unarmed and making it easy for Joker to shoot and kill her. Basically all to get back at Commissioner Gordon, who actually had to hold himself back afterward. The death of Sarah pushed Jim to the point that he was ready to kill the Joker. Pushing Jim's buttons is the sole reason it seems why the Joker often tortures the women who are close to him. Number 6 Torturing Barbara Gordon and her mom When it comes to the shocking atrocities the Joker has committed, paralyzing and assaulting Barbara Gordon is likely very high on that list for most of us, but it's not the only time he's caused Batgirl a ton of grief, though the events of the killing joke are some of the most disturbingly memorable. The Joker also once kidnapped both Barbara and her mother and threatened to kill Bab's mom if she didn't marry him. Wow, that's pretty awful. The Joker really seems to have a thing for hurting any of the women belonging to the Gordon family. Number 5. Diner Massacre 
When it comes to gruesome acts that supervillains have committed, one of the most shocking and traumatizing to read is the massacre that Dr. Destiny created in Neil Gaiman's Sandman. What's more shocking is it all took place because D was bored, and this was his way of staying entertained and having fun. It took place at a 24 hour diner and it involved the patrons and staff there who found themselves trapped and shackled to Destiny's will as he wielded Dream's Dreamstone. Using that ruby, he made those in the diner get intimate, fight one another, torture each other, eat one another, and eventually brought them all to a twisted and bloody end all their own. By the time Dream arrived, all of his victims were dead, and the diner was covered in body parts and drenched in blood from everything that had happened over the past 24 hour period, where Dr. D kept them trapped there and held them as his manipulated and therefore seemingly willing prisoners. Number 4. Lex for President One of the most shocking moments for me in the comics was when Lex Luthor was actually elected to become President of the United States. What's more, he actually didn't have a terrible platform? President Luther got elected after promising to ban fossil fuels and after highlighting the previous administration's failings when he stepped in to help solve the problem of Gotham following their suffering of an earthquake and resulting chaos in the No Man's Land story arc. Eventually Batman and Superman managed to expose President Luther as the villain he truly was, acquiring a recording of him making an arms deal with Darkseid. Yeah. Not a good move there, President Lex. This also wasn't the only time we've seen Luther be elected as President of the USA. It also happened in Mark Miller's Red Sun story and in the Justice Lords alternate universe from the Justice League animated series. Number 3. Made their sworn enemy kill their own son One of the most shocking revelations in comics was following a tragic scene where Wolverine was forced to kill his own son, Dawkin, who he believed posed too great a threat if left to live. He fought against Dawkin and eventually drowned him in a puddle killing him. This scene was made even more heartbreaking through Wolverine's inner monologue, where we see Logan imagining what a normal life with his son and wife would have been like, had Itsu not been killed and they hadn't all been separated. After Dawkin is dead and Wolverine cradles his body in his arms, Sabretooth shows up and confesses that Logan killing Dawkin was all part of his master plan, and that he had actually manipulated both of them into this final fight, knowing Wolverine would kill Dawkin and then be left haunted by the memory of doing so for the rest of his life. Number 2. Pretty much everything Kilgrave does. Whether we're talking about the comics or the Jessica Jones live action series, pretty much every villainous deed Kilgrave has ever committed has been shocking. He kidnapped and assaulted Jessica Jones back when she was Jewel, and later on sent her to kill other heroes and friends when he sent her back to the Avengers mansion. In Jessica Jones' series, many moments come to mind as being some of the most shocking, but one that still haunts me is when the purple man, played by David Tennant in the show, threatens his father by forcing him to slowly lower his hand into a pulsing blender. Then of course there was the moment that Jessica managed to save Hope early on in the show, only to discover that Kilgrave had planned for that to happen and that the reason Hope had fought hard to stay with Kilgrave is because he had commanded her to kill her parents when she was reunited with them. Which I actually had to like pause that show and take a break because I was so shocked. Number 1. How to Slice of pie. This one didn't affect the entire world or anything like that, but it did turn an innocent moment into one of the most shockingly sinister ones ever that I've read. In the Umbrella Academy series, we meet Hazel and Cha Cha, time traveling assassins. Our introduction to these villains in the quite unorthodox superhero story involves them eating apple pie while in their bear and dog masks, respectively. They ask the server at the diner they are eating at what the secret recipe is, and overhearing their compliments, the chef comes out to share that others have traveled from far away and offered him great sums of money to get that secret, but that he joked in the past, you'd have to to chop off my arms and legs to get that secret out of me. The next scene features a bloody Hazel and Cha Cha, who we later learn have been busy chopping off the chef's limbs. Oh yeah, they also become so distracted by a call from their boss that when the chef actually reveals that canned apples are his secret in that apple pie, they have no idea what he's talking about anymore. Mostly they just really like torturing people. And I guess a good apple pie. Who doesn't like a good apple pie? Thank you so much for watching, Nerd Squad. What do you think are some of the most shocking supervillain deeds? Were there any times a supervillain became good that left you amazed and astonished? Were there any moments that you felt were meant to shock but that you found to be quite droll instead or simply disappointing? Let us know in the comments below. This has been Top 10 Nerd and I'm your host Amanda McKnight. You stay nerdy YouTube.